Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. We're going to look at a new Windows 11 build today. This is 22000.132 for Windows Insiders on the Dev channel and the Beta channel. Currently, they're both on the same uh, channels. They're the same builds from the, on those channels. Uh, at some point in the future, I guess that will change and the Dev will start to get uh, new builds that potentially can train features that might not get uh, released with the initial Windows 11 launch. But anyway, at the moment, they're both the same. Now, this build mainly contains some fixes, but they have updated some of the apps that ship with Windows, so we're going to look at those as well. So, first, um, I want to talk about what's the main thing from the Microsoft blog that ha uh, highlights a change is that um, Microsoft Chat is now available for insiders on the beta channel so i'm here on my surface go which is on the dev channel but my device that's got um, a surface laptop that's got on the beta channel has also got this chat now so this chat's been here for a while on the dev channel but now that's uh, available um for uh insiders on the beta channel as well and you can do uh they started to roll out um audio and video calling so you're going to be able to um, call and create video create audio and video calls see at the moment they say coming soon but that's that uh, you'll be able to do that directly from here as well so what about the other changes well they, like I said they updated some apps and the first one is the snip and sketch and snipping tools have been combined and you've no longer got two separate apps uh, so you, in the past you would have seen snip, snipping tool and snip and sketch and now they've been combined into one application uh, so here is the new uh, snipping tool first you can see it's got the Windows 11 look with the sort of curved edges and everything the curved buttons and everything else like that uh, which which looks nice and um, you can launch it from WinShift S and let's let's do a snip and let's have a look i do use a snipping tool a lot um a very handy tool and uh yeah it's, it makes sense to have it combined into one application there we go and you can copy it to clipboard and then of course you can do markups on it and editing and uh, that kind of thing. So it's very much in. It's very much got the features from the snipping, uh, snip and sketch. It seems more like that, but combined with the simplicity of the the snipping tool as well. So um, I do use this a lot. So I've been looking forward to trying that. And you've got the different modes. You've got the timing modes where you can have a delay on them. That kind of thing. So it's good to see that that's had some love and been updated. And the other thing is, well, I should say, you notice, well, I'm running this in dark mode, and uh, the tools in dark mode as well. The previous ones weren't like that as well, so that's good to good to see. Calculator has been uh, up, rewritten. Uh, see uh, modern C sharp application, and yeah, looks looks nice. Again, it's got the Windows theme, it's got programmer modes, and it's got graph modes and things like that. So. That's good. Now the other one that Microsoft said has been updated is the mail app and calendar applications. So here's the new mail app. You can see um, it's, about, it's supports in dark mode. So it doesn't look a lot different from uh, when I was using it in uh, on Windows 10, but. Uh, yeah, it supports dark mode and uh, it's got rounded corners and and that kind of thing. Also, the calendar has been updated as well to support the sort of Windows 11, 11 style. Not a huge amount of differences with those. So those are the app updates. Um, going back to the build updates, there's plenty of things in this. There's a lot of fixes and that's the main thing with this build as well. So they fixed some um, issues with search. Uh, where you type into search and uh, the results weren't coming up. Uh, they fixed some widget issues as well, where widgets weren't appearing. I still, my family safety one still doesn't uh, appear to be working, but uh, they fixed some sandbox issues and they fixed some 
it, it issues with bug checks, uh, as in blue screens or green screens as they are, it crashes when you attempt to roll back to a previous flight and they fix some yeah, they fixed an issue with the locator icon wasn't showing up uh, when it should have been. So the locator icon shows down there when an application is using your location. There's no issues with this build. Always worth checking those out. Um, if you try, the, the option to stop uh, getting uh, uh, preview builds is not there. There is a workaround and some people on the, on the beta channel are not seeing the new taskbar and start menu. If you get that, there's actually an update you can uninstall and that will bring that down. Um, some cases Windows uh, terminal wouldn't work correctly, uh, the taskbar may flicker and the search bar may not open at all. I did have this one so I went to go search like that and, and nothing happens. And if you kill the search exe from, um, from task manager then it, it resumes and, and works fine. And there's still some issues with Bluetooth Oh, they've added an issue actually with Bluetooth. I did experience this one where uh, Bluetooth may just uh, disconnect. I did have that when using some headphones. Uh, there's still some issues with um, the the store uh, where the search results were inaccurate. I think Microsoft have updated the store as well. In fact, uh, let's have a look. So yeah, here's, here's the updated... Here's the updated store. This was updated in the previous build, uh, but now that's uh, been updated for the uh, people on the beta channel as well. So that's all the changes with this build. There's not a huge amount. So the, the updating of the apps is interesting. Certainly the, uh, the little snipping tool is quite handy. And there are some more app updates coming uh, as well. Um, there's an updated clock which has got Spotify integrations coming and things like that. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com on our YouTube channel. And you can get me on Twitter at isdixon.